dear students uh, this is our 37th lecture on named reactions and in today's lecture we will discuss about acyl ion condensation acyl ion condensation basically is a process in which esters two molecules of an ester they react with the sodium metal in the molten state in presence of trimethyl silyl chloride to give us these types of compounds as intermediates bis silyl alkenes these are formed as intermediates and these intermediates on hydrolysis in presence of an acid are converted into acyl ions uh, acyl ions are basically alpha hydroxy ketones uh, which are uh, valuable synthetic intermediates and used for different types of uh, organic uh, product synthesis then uh, aliphatic monoesters uh, they gave us symmetrical acyl ions as the product while diesters they lead to the formation of cyclic acyl ions as the product uh, the process may be intramolecular or intramolecular depending upon the substrate which we use for these types of reactions uh, the intramolecular acyl ion condensation uh, is uh, used uh, uh, mainly for the synthesis of uh, ring compounds having uh, 10 carbons or more uh, up to 34 membered rings they can be synthesized through this process of acyl ion condensation if we are to synthesize uh, compounds with small ring size say ranging from 4 to 6 then uh, yields they can be uh, greatly improved if we use trimethyl silyl chloride and in addition uh, we can use uh, the modern technique of ultrasound as a uh, process then aromatic acyl ions uh, they are synthesized by benzoyne condensation reaction which is uh, different from a siloin condensation because there uh, we use different types of catalyst instead of uh, sodium metal in the molten state uh, as far as this reaction is concerned uh, a siloin ester condensation or a siloin condensation there are two mechanism which have been depicted in the uh, proposals uh, one is uh, set mechanism which is a free radical mechanism and other is epoxide mechanism so as far as uh, single electron transfer mechanism is concerned here uh, what happens is uh, the two molecules of the esters they react with uh, two sodium radicals and uh, reduction of uh, the ester take place so basically what happens is uh, two electrons at this position uh, then uh, sodium uh, radical will add to oxygen with one uh, electron being transferred to oxygen so it will acquire the negative charge oxygen will acquire the negative charge and sodium will acquire the positive charge so sodium salt of the ester uh, like this will be formed with a formation of a free radical at this carbon so both uh, the esters they will give us uh, these types of free radicals and then a carbon carbon bond formation will take place at these two free radicals to give us these types of so uh, disodium salts or dianions they are formed and uh, with the elimination of uh, sodium alkoxide two molecules of sodium alkoxide from here we will get uh, alpha diketones as the intermediate products and then these uh, alpha diketones will further undergo reduction in the presence of sodium metal uh, in the molten state and we will get these types of alkene uh, anions and these on hydrolysis will give us uh, uh, enols and these enols will undergo K 
keto enol tautomerism to give us acyl ions as the product or alpha hydroxy ketones they are formed as the product then uh, second type of mechanism which is called as epoxide mechanism uh, this is basically uh, the formation of an epoxide intermediate is involved during this mechanism so here uh, the one molecule of an ester will react with uh, sodium metal and this type of free radical will be formed then this will react with the second molecule of the ester to give us these types of ether based free radicals and uh, this on further reduction with uh, sodium metal will give us uh, these types of disodium anions and this will lose uh, sodium alkoxide to give us uh, these types of uh, ester anions uh, which will uh, then be converted into uh, the epoxide intermediate on which uh, we say that the mechanism involves is epoxide intermediate so this epoxide intermediate then uh, undergoes ring opening uh, due to the nucleophilic nature of this oxygen this ring will open up and we will get these types of intermediates and then these uh, with the elimination of sodium alkoxide are converted again into alpha diketones and these alpha diketones undergo hydrolysis and keto enol tautomerism to give us the final products that is alpha hydroxy ketones they are formed through epoxide mechanism uh, as uh, I have told you uh, in the first slide that ultrasound uh, enhances the yield and uh, reaction time is also reduced when we use ultrasound for promotion of uh, acyl ion condensation. So here uh, cyclization of carboxylic 1, 4, 1, 5 and 1, 6 uh, diesters uh, they are used uh, for the synthesis of 4 membered, 5 membered or 6 membered ring products and uh, here again uh, the catalyst which is used is uh, trimethyl chloride and sodium metal is used in these types of acyl ion condensation reactions so <coughs> this uh, is an intramolecular acyl ion condensation and we can see that uh, uh, one four diesters they will give us four membered rings one five diesters they will give us five membered ring and one six diesters they will give us six membered ring compounds uh, similarly beta chloroesters they can also be converted into three membered ring products in pr under the same conditions as we have seen in case of acyl ion condensation <laughs> so here uh, instead of using diesters we can use uh, beta chloro esters as the starting material and same type of uh, acyl ion condensation can take place to give us three membered ring compounds then uh, the acyl ion condensation has also applications in uh, natural product synthesis uh, or biologically active product formations for example uh, the diterpene alkaloid uh, which is isolated from anotary species uh, has shown a great degree of anti-tumor activity and uh, for the synthesis of such type of diterpene alkaloid uh, acyl ion condensation is also used as a key step for the construction of basic framework for uh, these types of diterpene alkaloid so for example uh, this type of uh, methoxy methyl ether bicyclic derivative when reacted under acyl ion condensation uh, acyl ion condensation conditions that is use of sodium metal and trimethyl slyl chloride uh, this is again uh, converted into these types of uh, di tri 
methyl salyl alkenes and uh, these uh, undergo rearrangement and then uh, hydrolysis in presence of uh, HF uh, and using uh, acetonitrile as the solvent to get converted into these types of uh, tricyclo 332140 decane framework and then this framework is further used for the construction of uh, diterpene alkaloids. Similarly, uh, another application of acyline condensation is uh, that bicyclic diketones uh, which are very important biologically active compounds they can be synthesized by Lewis acid promoted geminal uh, acylation involving cyclic acylines and these cyclic acylines uh, they are uh, synthesized through acyline condensation reactions of these types of diesters. So uh, because uh, this is 1,4 diester so that means it will be converted into four membered cyclic rings uh, butenes and they will be formed and these uh, on reaction with Lewis acid uh, <coughs> BF3 thread uh, in dichloromethane at minus 78 degree centigrade followed by uh, reaction with TFA they are converted into bicyclic diketones. So these are the references which have been used to prepare these lectures. Thank you very much.